The Hawks lost Trey Young on February 23rd. Trey Young, obviously one of the most impactful offensive players in the game uh, over the last, you know, five to seven years. Like, that's undoubtedly true. And almost certainly the most impactful player on the Hawks. Like, I mean, I don't know who you would argue whether, you know, him against. I think he's clearly the most impactful player on the Hawks. In the game since Trey has been out, the Hawks have a plus 2.1 net differential. In the games prior to Trey's injury, the Hawks had a minus 2.0 net differential. That That's losing a lot of talent when I'm talking about losing Trey Young to somehow get four points better over a month's worth of games. Like and that is... And, and, and let's, let's emphasize this. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You're not no, saying that Trey Young is a negative player. That's not the point here. Right. This exactly. would have happened if DeJounte Murray got hurt and Trey exactly. Young was the one. The, the point isn't about the players themselves. It's about the team builds. And you made such a good point. They're doing this. They don't even get to replace Trey Young's dollar amounts with any like like th- anything that could approach the sum of his salary thing. Like imagine if they. This is just this is just the Hawks minus Trey Young. Now imagine yeah, if minus. somebody in the Hawks was like somebody in the Hawks front office was like, holy shit, how about this clone theory? Let's replace Trey Young's dollar amount with three additive pieces. Then what would they be? What if they traded Trey Young for or DeJounte Murray for three super good role players that they could probably get for them? Now you've got this Hawks team with DeJounte Murray playing the best version of himself, surrounded by even more depth of shooting and defense. And do you see where we're going with this, folks? I, I now that you say that, I feel like it's a it's a, I, I want you to talk about your favorite trade in the NBA. Uh, the one that the Los Angeles Lakers made. Dude, the reverse clone <laughs> theory trade? The reverse clone theory trade. <laughs> I, they, I just they wanted to give you the, least, they would have won at least the, the soapbox to talk about that one really quickly. Thanks, man. Yeah, the Lakers traded Caruso and Contavious Caldwell Pope and Kuzma. Well, well, real quick, they didn't trade Caruso, right? Yeah, like, I'm Caruso sorry, yeah. was they, they a lo- was a they casualty. They lost Caruso. They lost Caruso, Contavious Caldwell Pope, and Kuzma because of the KCP and Kuzma trade for Russell Westbrook. It's the worst trade in NBA history. You can't convince me otherwise. It's it's like <laughs> the most damaging trade in NBA history. And like this is the thing. Like Russell Westbrook, honestly, if you think about it, is probably the poster of the clone theory because like he was in that tier. And he was very much on the fringe of the tier because Russell Westbrook as absolute best was an elite player. Like everyone knows this. I'm not saying anything new, but was he quite elite enough to be the best player on a championship team? I'm not hundred percent sure he could have been, he would have been because of his lack of shooting. He probably would have been a little bit tougher to build around, but I think you could have built an elite championship. Team I think you could have been OKC. Player. Yeah. At some of his peak peak days in OKC, if you put the right components around him, I think so. And like him and Kevin Durant, while not the most natural fit, were so good. And Kevin Durant's shooting, you probably like the OKC didn't do that many favors. I mean, Ibaka was a great rim protector for them. All they needed was a couple wings, a couple three and D wings. Just find any of them, you know, like, like they were, they were struggling with like Cephalosha and Andre Roberson and just all they exactly. needed was, was one three and D guy. Uh, but I digress. I mean, the point is, is that Westbrook, if you take him from being the guy, like he was in OKC and put him in any situation where he no longer is the guy, all of a sudden he goes from a hundred percent of himself to like 20% of himself because so much of his impact is sewed up in what he can do with the ball in his hands. When the ball in it isn't in his hands as consistently, his impact just dissipates. It's just, it's just gone. And so he's not, people think it's like NBA 2K. It's like, Oh, we just put Russell Westbrook in the mix. It's going to be great. And it's like, no, it's, it doesn't work like that. And it especially doesn't work like that anymore. Maybe it worked that way. 10, 15, definitely worked that way 30 years ago where you could just throw talent together and, you know, offense was just basically a series of one-on-ones, but it's not that anymore. Shooting and spacing and synergy, these are things that are as important as ever. And to bring it back to the Hawks, we're not saying that either Trey Young or DeJounte Murray are negative players. We're saying that they're such a bad fit together that it would just be way better to replace one of them with, you know, and try to do the money ball thing, you know, get an accumulation of their whole through more additive pieces the compounding effect it would have on team success would be massive at least that's our theory